What do we have here? Falcon knives. That sounds pretty high end. Oh, it sounds like it must be. Maybe it's some kind of a custom knife or something. Let's look at it and see. Oh, it does look pretty fancy. You know, me and a friend, we play this game. Uh, the game is a uh, gas station knife or, you know, super high end custom. Because sometimes it's hard to tell. I think we can all tell that this is a gas station knife but i mean there are some probably some really fancy high-end knives that to the average observer might look very similar to this uh let's see how do we do this okay lock access isn't terrible interesting oh it's okay it's spring-loaded it's i mean uh assisted opening whatever you want to call it it's got two big ass uh I guess hand guards for when it's open and then that's the flipper tab when it's closed so this is the falcon knives uh cross what's it does it actually have a name that'd be cool if it did that's a ks5440 gdb so you know it's whatever but i grabbed it because i just thought it looked cool i know it's a gas station knife and it's not super sharp uh, it's only sharp on this side. It looks like a double edge, but they can't really do that because uh, you would get cut on this edge here. So they had to kind of move the whole knife. The whole blade has to be moved to this side. So it's sitting in here like this. It's not in the center or else you'd be able to feel the blade over here and the top over here. But now the top sticking out just a tiny bit over here and none of the edge part is sticking out over here. So it's pretty smart, pretty cool, and somehow it still lines up fairly straight when it's open. It'd be cool if this was narrower. It's a little thick. A little bit of a thick boy. How's the centering? Not the best. A little off center. But surprisingly, it's fairly straight when it's opened. So that's cool. It actually kind of has a neat sound when it opens. Let's listen. Kind of has a nice clink to it. That's kind of neat. I don't hate it. The feel is <clears throat> too fat in the hand. They're too tall. It's pretty thick too. Let's see. Uh, here's a fairly average pocket knife. A Rook. I don't know. Boy, the Rook might be a hair thicker. Okay. So it's not the thickness this way of it that's bugging me. Must be the height of it. Let's see. Let's compare the height. It's a little taller. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. It just has an awkward, big, funky feel to it. Well, it still does have a nice sound, though. Listen to that again. Nice. I think it was $9.99. Something like that. Does it look like it's worth $9.99? I kind of think so. I think I could probably put a little bit of a sharper edge on it. And it's just like a fun knife to mess with. It needs a little help. For some reason the lock has a hump on it instead of being instead of being downwardly curved like it normally has a big up hump on it. It needs like a little bevel on the edge so it's not so sharp on the hand. It's a little bit sharp. Boy, that is a fun noise. Mm, doesn't always make it. That time it didn't make it. Let's see. There it goes. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What's it say on here? Oh, maybe right side up. Oh, there we go. Whatever that says. It says Falcon over here. It's a Falcon knife. It feels like a pot metalish, you know, maybe an aluminum, cast aluminum type deal. And then this plate is a separate piece on top. So that's interesting. I wonder what it would be 
Uh, well, okay. I wonder what it would be without this plate. If you could do that, it might make it a little lighter and feel a little not quite so mm, bulky. I might try to take that plate off and see. Interesting. Oops. See, that's the only problem with these. Sometimes you don't know which side to open. This is the right side, but if you just kind of pick it up off the table and you're not looking at it, you might try, whoops, no, nope, that's the correct side again. You might try this side because it feels about the same, but it doesn't open that way, obviously. It opens this way. It's kind of a cool gas station knife. I mean, when I think of gas station knives, I, th I think of the Batman here. Stuff like this. Awesome gas station knives. That's another awesome one. I think they did a good job on that. I mean, that's that's the kind of thing that would uh, attract me, you know, as a teen or a kid. This cool looking knife with a cool cross on it. Looks like you're a, uh, what were those, uh, what were those knights? Uh, <laughs> well, it could be Boondock Saints. It could be like a Boondock Saints angle. Uh... Something like that. Who knows? But, I don't hate it. I wish it was a little thinner this way. You know, is it good steel? Is it going to hold an edge if you use it a lot? No. Lockup's not bad, though. So, I feel like it's going to hold. Yeah, it's actually at about 40%, too. It's not way over like they usually are, or almost falling off. So, lockup's actually pretty good. Anyway, there's your Falcon, uh, I'm going to call it the Boondock Saint Knife. Your Falcon Boondock Saint Knife. Have a nice day.